beautiful things happen in my life. Uh, I start very, very, when I was only 15 years old, very small, I think. Um, I start to dance tango in Cordoba. I'm from Cordoba. Um, the things, um, the choreography, we start dancing tango about music with Astor Piazzolla. Um, my teacher put choreography. Uh, it was very nice. Um, but it was only choreography. This is not tango. Tango is lovely improvisation with lovely embrace. And I start to, I take the decision to move to Buenos Aires and they are to take tango, the real tango, like my father said, the Jesus tango, no Piazzolla. Yes, and um, okay, I start to do that tango, take a lesson in Buenos Aires. Uh, there when you are in Buenos Aires, is everybody in this year was talking about the best tango couple, the best tango dancers. Uh, was in this year's uh, Osvaldo Soto. Uh, he, he was an amazing dancer. Um, in this year I take lessons with one of my master teachers. Graciela Gonzalez, and all she was teaching about uh, how we have to do when Osvaldo Soto invite us to dance. She teach the lesson and she talk and she use Osvaldo Soto like uh, how we have to answer to him, how we have to follow him, how we have to embrace him. And finally, years later, I had the lucky to meet Osvaldo Soto and to dance with Osvaldo Soto. Uh, and was here in New York City at La Nacional, one of the best milonga in New York. And finally, it the, was the my lucky night, and this big dancer was there. And he invited me to dance. I was with friends there at, at the milonga, and he invited me to dance. And it was very interesting, very my lovely experience in tango. Uh, is the dream, the dream came through and I can invite me to dance and my voice said yes, yes, I, I don't know that is my voice, who, who is talking about, who said yes and I dance, um, I feel so, so uh, nervous, so I feel, I want to die and I, took it, I was talking inside to me, Karina please follow, Karina please follow, Karina follow, you have to follow and I was dancing uh, I don't remember it was the tango, it was the walls, maybe it was the walls. Um, and, and then he finished the first one, tango walls, whatever. And he said, Maybe not, he was so sweet. Are you okay? And I said, Of course. Oh, yes, I'm okay. But my heart, I was ready to have a cardiac attack. And I said, Yes, I'm okay. And I, I, outside, uh, I show like a yes, but inside, like uh, Dardo tried to teach us, the inside was like a little baby <laughs> crying but happy when we dance with him. It was a little difficult to, he knows, he really felt inside. He was, he tried to be very nice and he, he relaxed me, his embrace made me to feel so happy and, and I feel so proudly to dance with him and I say I have to do everything all what they, my teacher teach me it's time to do everything and was hard so I say when in my other life I will meet this battle I will dance better with him and, and I say always always we have to try to relax even with Osvaldo so we have to try to relax and we have to feel the inside the inside is the soul with soul. And um, I think we can do the beautiful tango. So always I will talk about my experience with Osvaldo Soto. He I'm sure he knows I was so I was so nervous. Uh, also I was so happy to dance with him. But it's good, it's very good to share. And it's very good with a good dancer, dance with the other people because we can feel, we can understand what is tango. And it's the lovely dancing and we share the song. Just this unique moment. So thank you, Swaldo. Uh, 
I would like to go again in the next life. Thank you.